Mina, Konbanwa, Jesus Freaking Gamer here. I read something. It is, we're going back to Second Chronicles chapter five. Uh, I read chapter six today in the daily Bible reading, but I want, and there was good stuff in it. Lots of good stuff. But there was something at the end of five. It hit on something really deep in my heart, and I wanted to hit that up. I actually debated like, should I do a thirty-minute thing on this and just kind of broaden the topic? I'm going to do the short version today. <clears throat> Excuse me. And again, it's just something incredibly close to my heart, something dear and important to me. And it's going to be starting in verse 13. Indeed, it came to pass when the trumpeters and singers were as one, to make one sound to be heard in praising and thanking the Lord. And when they lifted up their voice with the trumpets and cymbals and instruments of music and praised the Lord, saying, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. That the house, the house of the Lord, was filled with a cloud, so that the priests could not continue ministering because of the cloud. For the glory of the Lord filled the house of God. And I just, I think about, it makes me think specifically of the Great Awakening, some of the great revivals that have happened in this country, some of the revivals that have happened in the past, where you just hear about huge outpourings of the Spirit of God, like hundreds and thousands of people coming to repentance, erratic, wild, emotional displays, sometimes talks of healings and miracles, just some amazing things that have happened. And this is all like post-Bible, like the Bible is written and complete and done, obviously before the formation of the United States and prior to that times when God would just come in amazing ways and tons of people would give their hearts to Jesus. And I hear about some things like that happening um, in the non-denominational churches, particularly the ones that I go to. And yeah, you hear about some crazy stuff. You hear about some stuff and it's like, those people on something that's, uh, that's kind of weird over there. I kind of want to stay away from that. It's a little bit bizarre. But there are, I believe, some genuine instances where God's Spirit has come out. I don't think it's all smoke and mirrors. I don't think it's all hoaxes. I believe that there are genuine outpourings of the Spirit of God. I believe that there are times when the glory of God hits. And there could be physical manifestations such as like, you know, like a, a smoke or a fog that isn't quite... It's not from the fog machines up around the worship area. Those things weren't turned on. This is something else. I've heard stories from like people I know. I haven't not just read in a book, and it's only from and it's only stories of of um, it's I haven't haven't experienced it myself. It's not firsthand. It'd be so cool if it was firsthand, but it's not. I've heard stories of people walking into church and like there would be the smoke. That I was just talking about a second ago, if there would be rain inside, not because the sprinklers were on, you know, who knows where it came from? It came from God. But it would be like there would be a light drizzle in the room. And some of the gold dust stories, that's kind of like stuff in the past. A lot of that was discredited, frowned upon, looked down upon. Some of my friends have said they experienced it, it like firsthand. So, if could someone of deception, some magician, have pulled a trick on them and just done some sleight of hand in front of them? Of course, it's always possible. I will choose to believe. Well, gold dust is a little bit easier to accomplish than. Well, smoke, smoke and stuff is also easy to accomplish. And I guess rain inside, well, with a sprinkler system, that would also be very easy to accomplish. Is it all smoke and mirrors, though? Is it all fake? And I don't believe so. Especially when you hear personal stories of healings and miracles. I've seen a very small handful myself. I've heard many more from people that I personally know. And then I've read a ton. You know, just, uh, just hearing the stories of, like, ministers on the radio, on TV, online, etc. You hear ton reading in books. Tons of stories from there. Some I believe, some I don't. But since I believe the Bible is the Word of God, there is a very real glory. Where the priests can no longer minister, where whoever is doing the worship, where whoever is doing the preaching, whoever is, whatever human is in charge, has got to stop and pause. Because the Lord has come. 
And I don't think this was just an Old Testament thing either. You read in 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 9, For if the ministry of condemnation, that's the old stuff, the old covenant, the Old Testament, had glory, the ministry of righteousness, that's the New Testament, the new covenant, exceeds much more in glory. For even what was made glorious had no glory in this respect, because of the glory that excels. Again, comparing old to new. For if what is passing away was glorious, old stuff, what remains is much more glorious. The new stuff. The times we're in right now. And I want that. I want it so bad. I've seen just a few things. Just a small dose of what I've read in the Word of God, what I've heard from my friends what I've heard from outside sources, third parties, and I desire it, and I want it. And I do believe that simply desiring it and wanting it, that's step number one. That's step number one. And also having the faith that it is there. Maybe, maybe desiring it is step number two, but believing it's real, believing it's not all fake, is step number one. Just like you don't see any counterfeit $3 bills because they're not real, I don't think you see counterfeit miracles unless there are real miracles. There wouldn't be any counterfeits if there wasn't a real deal. I do think that the phonies are based on something true. So, yeah, big stuff to me. Something I hope to see and be a part of later on in my life. Hopefully sooner than later. Guys, thank you very much for watching this video. Any thoughts and comments on what I talked about, by all means, leave in the comments down below. This is supposed to be typing. Thank you very much for watching this video. I love you, and God bless.